They were the shocking images broadcast throughout the world. Deep in the jungles of Guyana, a remote agricultural settlement built by the People's Temple, a religious group from California led by Jim Jones. Thirty years ago, more than 900 members of the temple died in Jonestown, almost all after drinking cyanide-laced grape drink. Yolanda Williams was 12 when she began attending temple services in San Francisco with her parents. Years later, Jones summoned Williams and her family to his compound in Guyana. This wasn't all it was cooked up to be. It was not paradise. It was a concentration camp. It was hell. It was a plantation. And there was things going on that I knew were totally ungodly and inhumane. Williams and her family managed to flee Guyana just months before the mass suicide. She was one of only a handful of members who Jones allowed to return to the U.S. We made it back out through the power and grace of God and our ability to negotiate with him because he was in a drugged-induced state. So we convinced him it was in his best interest to let us go and to prove to the people here in the United States, the concerned citizens, other media people, that someone could get out if they wanted to, and we had the freedom, of course, to leave, come and go as we please. 30 years later, Williams says she's using her experience to be a voice for those who died. She's now speaking out against Jim Jones. And he had, in my opinion, and I say this and I'm compelled to say this, he had 917 chances to stop the annihilation, and yet he continued to witness people died one by one. Jones died that same day of a gunshot wound to the head. Ross Simpson, the Associated Press.